And we are also following a developing story in Sacramento. A rescue effort has now turned into a recovery effort after a man in his 20s goes into the Sacramento River but does not come out. And with that, thanks so much for joining us tonight. For Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Eric Rucker. Fox 40's Mason Morrow joining us now live near the Sacramento River. Mason, catch us up on what happened there earlier today. Yeah, Eric, as you said, Sacramento fire officials confirming to me a dive team was sent here to Sand Cove Beach, where three people went into the water trying to retrieve a football. They lost control of where they were at in the river and this quickly turned into sadly a recovery mission after an hour's worth of searching. So around 540 tonight, fire officials tell me that that uh, they got a call for three people in the water trying to retrieve a football when they quickly got into a mess there in the river. It's a strong current in this area. It's obviously cold as we've been talking about for a while and luckily one boat did see three people go in and saved two of them. But the one person who got away, we just learned here in the past couple of minutes speaking to family. It was a 15 year old boy that they are still searching for tonight. They've deployed every resource they have at hand right now. They sent a dive team into the water for an hour, but they had to pull those divers out for their own safety. As I said, this is a treacherous part of the water. And as you said, Eric, this is now being considered a recovery mission. The water actually goes into what's called an eddy and the water circulates and starts moving back upstream and strong swimmers aren't able to fight to get back to shore and it just eventually fatigues them out and the temperature of the water is very cold. Uh, so their muscles start spasming and the person eventually will go underwater. The battalion chief there said that they've deployed underwater drones. They have some flight drones in the air still now. They had a helicopter up earlier, but they're only able to work with it. The daylight gives them. So once the sun goes uh, went down earlier tonight, they had to suspend their search. We're told they will continue tomorrow. But again, an update, Eric, we've just now learned that this is a 15 year old boy that they are searching for with the family now, hoping and praying that he shows up. Reporting live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters. I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.